Unbelievable. It's almost done. You got to see this. Nice and brown underneath there. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I can pretty well take that out anytime. I'm going to dry it out. That's about 20 minutes. Well, hello again, YouTube. We are heading to the cabin right now in some pretty inclement weather. It is minus 17 degrees and we have a snowstorm on the way. So we are going to have a fun little drive over there today, but hopefully we're going to get there one piece. A little bit of my trip each time involves one of these. I'm lucky to say so far there's a little skiff of sand on the roads and they have been plowed so it's not too bad. It's going to get a little funner when I get in the woods though because the last mile going to my camp isn't plowed so I'll show you when I get to there. I guess I spoke too soon lol. Another half a mile and this road hasn't been plowed and there's no sand on it. So It's going to be an interesting ride but I do have good tires on this thing and they're all studded so that definitely is the help. This is pretty interesting. This is the second half coming in. The first half was plowed and it was worse than this actually because it was really icy underneath. So we might get in here hopefully. All right, this rig gets a little sketchy because this is a pretty steep hill here. So I'm gonna go really, really slow here. Oh boy. This is a little scary, but here's hoping. about a foot of snow here on the ground. Thank God I got good tires. And it's not frozen like it is at home, so there couldn't have been nearly as much rain as there was at the house. I'm gonna have to definitely get the snow thrower out later and do this driveway. Well, let's take you guys inside and see how cold it is in here. I'm assuming minus six or eight anyway. Minus 17 outside, minus 10 in here. Burr. That's about the coldest it ever gets. I gotta get this stove going. Minus 10 in here, wow. All right, let's get this stove going. And warm this place up, because it is bloody cold in here right now. Minus 10. Welcome back. It's gonna be plus 20 in about two hours. Two, two and a half hours, we hope to have it uh, going pretty good in here. So bear with me, because uh, I'm freezing. Pretty chilly. We just come out of a cold snap, actually, and it's been in the minus 20s uh, or Celsius the last couple nights, and it hasn't been any fun at all. But thank God I got some kindling all split and ready to go here. Let's try to get this bad boy rocking as quick as possible. So we're going to get her going. Get a bit of cardboard here. Always helps get things going. She goes. Bloody cold. Well, there you go. Didn't take it long to get going pretty decent here. It's going to take a while to warm it up. Minus 16 outside, minus 10 in here. Hopefully, it's going to warm up fairly quick. About two hours, probably.
Well, welcome back, YouTube. We're here. We made it. Uh, the road was not the greatest coming in. Tomorrow could be a little interesting trying to get out of here. Uh, the snow seems to have let up a little bit here now. It's not as bad. The place is warming up quite well. It is already up to 5 degrees, and that's about an hour, so that's not bad for minus 10 when I first walked in here. You can see the stove is going quite well. Everything is getting cozy. I've got a cup of coffee. Pretty much want to clear the driveway all the way out to the road because, again, this is the first winter. I've actually had my truck in here this late near this much snow, and I'm taking a bit of a gamble. Uh, I've got a pretty decent set of tires, Goodyear Dura Tracks, which are a wicked tire, and they're actually studded. So I'm hoping when I go to pull out of here tomorrow, it's not going to be any problem. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go up in the garage in a little bit here, get my snow thrower fired up that I haven't had going since last year. So hopefully that's going to go and everything going to go according as planned. And a little bit later, after I move some snow, I'm going to take you guys around here, give you a tour, kind of show you the place a little bit and uh, show you what I, uh, what I come to here to enjoy when I do. Time to get my hillbilly stove going in here and get some heat on. Willie, Willie, Willie. Maybe get my snow thrower going. It may be a little bit of work because it hasn't run since last year. So we're going to see if we can get it going. Hopefully. Won't be too much issue. And if it won't, well, I know a guy. is that. This thing normally likes quite easy. To get this thing going as you can see it is warming up quickly in here quickly I wish the camp warmed up as fast Well, the old thing's had a few minutes to warm up. I haven't run it since last year, but let's actually see if I prime it. Lots of primes, Let's see what she'll do.
Because anybody that knows me knows I do small engine repair for a living. I've uh, done it over 30 years. Basically went to college in 1989. So that kind of tells you a little bit about how old I am. Uh, anyway, this fella is a customer of mine. Has been. I run my own business for the last 20 years. Uh, this guy's been a customer of mine for over 20 years. I've serviced this machine since it was brand new. It actually, it's funny, the drift cutter bars, the slicers on the side, still have plastic on them. They've never been installed. This has been serviced every year since it was new. Uh, when it came time, the customer was getting older, 20 years old. He figured, I think it was two years ago, he went and bought a new machine. And he offered it to me. He said, do you want to take this thing? I said, what do you want? He said, no, no. He said, what, are, what do you want? I said, what do you mean? What do I want? I said, you give me a snow throw. He was actually going to pay me on top of giving me this thing. But anyways, out of the goodness of his heart, here it is. Uh, two years later, I've used it here. Two winners. The thing will start first pull after sitting all year. Just prime it, drain the old gas out of the carburetor. So, I mean, there's some wonderful people out in this world. And I'll tell you, that man definitely is. Uh, this thing's still going strong. Has lots of time left in it. Well, this is something that I was supposed to do the last time I was here. And I didn't. Now, the snow, we're going to take it off. If I don't take it off. Call me dumbass. Fun, fun, fun. here in a couple days. Lock the camera for a minute. Sorry about this. I gotta get up and get at least that next piece off. And for Mother Nature takes it off for me. She loves tearing stuff off. She's unruly. Unruly lady. She don't get what she wants. video of that snow come off right now wouldn't it i think you guys can pretty clearly see the dent in this barbecue grill well that's what happens when you leave it sit there and this snow all comes off here <laughs> so we're gonna move this under the roof over here and it'll be a little safer and under the eaves old stainless the number on it under here it's a lot safer It's time to give you guys a little tour of this place. When you walk in the door, there's the living room over there, a wood stove, a nice little seating area. And if you go in around here, it's hard where this is a small building, it's only 20 by 20. The bathroom is straight back there, barn door. This is a feature wall we did with wood. It's kind of neat. It goes up about 12 feet. 
Come over this way, barn board wall. Stairs going to the loft. And then the kitchen is here. Let me back up a little bit so you guys can see the kitchen. Here we go. A little temporary kitchen. It's not finished yet. Uh, it's in the works. Uh, propane stove over there, propane fridge. I don't even have that going today. I've got everything in a cooler. I'm just going to put it outside for today. Propane stove, that works amazing. Actually come out of a bowling alley, if you believe it. That thing's probably 30 years old. I got it for 50 bucks, cleaned it up, and it's a pilot light model, so you don't have to actually have power to run this thing. It works the very best. I love me old propane stove. Got a sink over here. I got a gray water tank. Um, this is my water filter. It's similar to one of the ones you can buy in the market that are made of two stainless steel pots, basically. But what I did... Uh, the top is just a standard stainless steel pot, and there's actually two ceramic filters in it. We go have a look here. Just like the brand name ones you can buy. The water's still frozen in there, actually. But this filters water perfectly. It drips into my bottom water jug, and it takes that top half. If that's full, probably two days to go into the bottom. But the thing is, you, it'll last you two days for coffee and all your things like that. And I've actually tested it, and the water's like 20 ppm. So I know it's stripping the water down to absolutely nothing. Look from the kitchen sink, looking across. I got a little bar in here for a, a breakfast bar affair. That's going to be upgraded eventually. That was just made up with some leftover flooring, actually, from the bathroom is what I did with that bar. And again, the back door is over here. You can go out through. There's my wood pile. It's nice that I have a front and rear entrance, I guess. Bathroom door is there again. Bedroom is right there. If you look way up here, I got a 10 by 20 loft. This is half loft up here. Sorry about the light. This is 10 by 20. I got a bed up there. Uh, some other things. That old love seat, that's got to go. It's right in the way. Got to put a railing up there someday. Walking here farther, here's the bedroom. The bedroom is pretty much finished and the bathroom is pretty much finished. Sorry about the lighting in here. Give you a little more light. It is all done in Wayne Scott, and the Christmas tree is still up. All done in Wayne Scotting, all done with basically barn board again. So it's a pretty cozy little room. It's a 10 by 10 bedroom, so it's a good size. It's all a person really needs. This is looking out through. Even got a bathroom here. This is kind of unique, I think. I like the light up there I made. How's that? Lantern. Actual functional toilet, functional sink. Again, I've got a 12 volt boost pump in the summer, so I have full water pressure here. I got about 40 psi water pressure. On demand hot water heater that goes outside in the back wall in the summer. And we'll go in the bathroom here. It's a tiny little room, but it's still enough room for everything. And in here, I even have a shower stall in around here, which is an actual shower stall. It's hard to see in here. It's a pretty tight area. It's hard to film in such a small room. But, anyways, this is my little bathroom. And my uh, old barn lantern up there, which I converted, put a 12 volt bulb in it. So, love it. So it looks like with the door shut. This is the bathroom door looking out at the living room and the rest of the camp. Pretty cozy little building here, I think. I like it. Oh my, what's that thing in the top? Oh, we'll talk about that later, won't we? <laughs> That's where I like to normally sit and have my morning coffee and just look out the window. Today I'm looking out the window watching the snow fall, and I hope it stops here pretty soon. It could be a really interesting drive to get out of here tomorrow is all I can say. Well, I'd appreciate it if you guys cut me a little bit of slack. Uh, I'm totally new at doing these. This is just a start for me. I think you guys obviously know this. I'm only using a smartphone right now, and these things can be really, really frustrating to film with. I've already had a couple times outside today. I thought I was filming while I was doing things, and it wasn't. It was shutting off on its own, so... I am in the process of researching some DSLR cams. Uh, I know I got to upgrade if I want to give you quality videos that you guys are going to want to see. So again, I, I apologize for the amateurness of the videos and the quality of, especially the quality of the picture and possibly even the sound for now. But I am going to upgrade all my equipment and hopefully give you guys some content that you want to watch. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, that temperature is looking a little better in here. 20 degrees in here, minus 7 outside. Getting pretty cozy.
Okay, starting to get a little nervous here. It's snowed pretty hard here since I've got here. And it could be pretty entertaining trying to get out of here tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to have to make a video going up that hill. And hopefully I can get up at one shot. Because you only get one shot. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I gotta say, this is getting a little bit scary. These trees are getting a pile of snow hanging in them. And that road is going to have a pile of snow on it when I go out of here in the morning. I'm a mile in from where they stopped plowing. About the first third, or maybe all no, yeah, but but the first third, uh, there's a camp out there that the fellow's got the road plowed. So that was kind of a little sketchier coming in because it was icy underneath, and then coming in from there to here, all there was was ATVs and sleds got her packed down, and it was just the width of my truck. So coming in, I had no problem coming in. Well, since I've got here, it hasn't stopped snowing, and I've been here since 11 o'clock this morning, and it's four o'clock in the afternoon. And we've got 10, if not 15 centimeters down. So, and I'm spending the night, but it's supposed to stop snowing any time, hopefully in the next hour. Because if not, uh, tomorrow morning could be terrible because I have to get out of here. I fix <laughs> snow blowers for a living, and I really shouldn't even be here today. But you know what? Life is about choice. And my choice was to be here today to share this with you guys. So, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hope people like it. So I guess it's time to talk about this box a little that's sitting over top of my stove. This is the kind of stuff that goes through my head when I'm actually sitting here in the morning having my coffees, looking out, watching the birds on the feeder and all the other stuff. And I'm sitting here one morning and watching the stovepipe and the heat coming off it and thinking, you know what, would it ever be neat if a guy could actually harness that heat with some kind of oven on their chimney kind of oven? I would call it basically a chimney oven. Well, that was in my head. Well, I happened to go home to my garage and pulled out an old piece of uh, 18 gauge plate that I had, sheet metal, basically just really thick sheet metal. Got out the plasma cutter, got an idea in my head, and started building what you see in front of you. Again, it's a double wall box. When we open it up, I got a piece of like half inch plate and that's just working as a heat sink type thing. Right now it's fairly cool in here. It's only 300. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a pizza in this in a little bit, a deli style pizza that I bought to bring over here to show you guys how good this thing actually works. So what I'm gonna have to do is pound the wood to this stove, get the temp up to 400 or more in this thing and show you guys how well this is actually gonna cook a pizza. Uh, amazing unit I better than expected when I first built it I put just a steel door on it on it just to show proof of concept to see if it was actually going to work well or not and when it worked better than expected I actually had this extra piece of pyroceramic glass I cut that out put it in the door and made it kind of mimic the wood stove so it almost looks like a factory unit that you would buy but I've got probably the only one of these on the east coast of Canada so kind of unique little unit that I have in here kind of proud to say I built this in my garage about a month ago It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. We're a bit late for that. It's like the 12th of January. Well, here we go. I'm going to throw this pizza in. It's 350 in there now. It's not... 400 where I'd like to see it, but if I get it too hot in there, it's going to get too hot in the camp there. So we're going to put this thing in here. It'll take it a couple more minutes to cook, obviously, where the temperature isn't as high, but check that out. You don't see too many of these around. We're going to go for a quick walk and clean my solar panels off because it looks like it's pretty much done with snowing. So I think it's time. We can get down this way and see how much snow is on them. It's going to be lots. Because, <laughs> man, there's a pile here on the ground. <laughs> it's pretty deep. Let's go check out the solar panels. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. Here we are. Wow. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much covered, eh? 
three panels. 100 watt, 100 watt, and 120 watt. Excuse me. Sorry for being so achy shaky. I'll clean these off here. Two of them are 100, and one of them is 120. And they work okay. So what they are. Slide right off them. Which is nice. I have to angle them soon. At 42 degrees, I think, right now. That's what the, yeah, I've got an app, which is kind of cool. You sit it on the panel, the phone, and it actually shows you you're at the exact angle or not. And I have them exactly where they should be right now. Now, let's go back to the camp. There's a pile of snow here. There's a pile of fresh snow here. See what's on the roof there, that's what we got today. That's kind of scary. That's about 15 centimeters, about six inches or so. I hope I can get out this road. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Could be pretty interesting tomorrow morning. Poor Tin Man says he's a little bit chilly now. He's not real impressed with the weather either. I don't blame him. This is on the road looking up the hill at the end of my field. Lots of snow here. Oh boy. Yes, sir. The little cabin buried in snow. LOL. Boom, and it's winter. Uh, it's been in there for about 15 minutes. It's looking good and smelling really good. Probably another five, maybe seven. And it should be ready. Yeah, those numbers are looking a lot better. A lot warmer outside also, but it's beautiful in here now. Cozy as a bug in a rug. Well, there you go. It is perfectly cooked, absolutely perfect, and it smells even better. You know, sit back and enjoy some of this and take a break. I haven't stopped since I got here. As you can see, roughing it at the camp. It's uh, a pretty hard life to take. Stuff come out absolutely perfect. What a wonderful dinner. I'm going to sit down here and enjoy the temperature and enjoy some good food. I don't know if you call it good food or not, but at least it's something better than nothing, right? All kinds of stuff in the cupboard there, too, I could have thrown together, but I wanted to bring something a little different and actually show you guys how good this chimney oven works. Because, again, every time I use that thing, we've already baked an amazing loaf of bread, did a lasagna, a couple other things like that, and anything you put in that, it cooks so evenly because, again, you're getting the heat from the bottom sides and the tops. Not like a conventional oven. Conventional oven... You got an element at the top and the bottom, and normally only the bottom one comes on, so all your heat's from the bottom, you got nothing from the side and nothing from the top. A convection oven, as some of you would know, uh, has a fan in it to actually blow the heat all around in there, makes it more even cooking. Well, there's a radiant convection right there, that bad boy. So I should almost put a patent on that thing and start selling them because it's, uh, it's quite a little unit. I've got a propane stove here too, and I can use propane, but I don't want to waste it. Why would I burn propane up if I'm going to heat the building anyway? Why not heat my dinner at the same time? It's a win-win, right? And it helps actually heat the building even way faster because that whole box radiates. That whole box is 450 degrees on the outside right now. And that whole thing helps heat. It's like having two wood stoves in the corner over there right now. The heat that comes off, that's amazing. Well, I'm in an adventurous mood, and I know that snow is getting deep out there, so I'm literally going to take my snow thrower, fire it up again, and I'm going to make a pass up the hill and a pass down. Uh, it's icy underneath, I know that, and it's 30% uh, grade probably in places. It's, it's going to be fun. we got a lot more snow here today than they were calling for, 5 to 10 centimeters, and we get 20 over here. I know I did easily. So anyways, uh, hang around. We'll see if I can survive this mission or not, and I'll let you know soon. Wish me luck. Oh boy, that was funny. <laughs> Not how uh, funny, I'm going to tell you. You don't know how close the call that was. I went all the way up the hill. And literally, as I say, it's, uh, it's about a quarter mile. And it's a really rocky road, a lot of big rocks and stuff. And I just almost got to the top, and I was going to get ready to turn to come back down. Obviously, the other side, I want to make two tracks down, right? So you might try it. And the good thing I did, that's deep. Just get to the top of the hill. I'm going along. It's working great. Bang, and it quits. It shuts right off. I thought, oh, man. Normally, I do this for a living. I just broke the belts and blew the engine. Something like that. I hit a great big rock. Shut it right off. Instant shut down. Okay. I'm going to shove my hand in in the impeller, and I felt a big rock size of baseball pulled out. 
Color return. Augers felt okay. Didn't tear the gearbox. Didn't break a shear bolt. <laughs> One pulse started right up. Kept on going. What an amazing machine. And here's the funny thing, but it's not ha ha funny. The fella that I told you gave me that machine, he got a brand new one two years ago, ironically enough, called me today and left me a message. His new machine won't start. I just did half a mile of road today <laughs> with his 20 year old one and his new one that's two years old uh, won't start. So I got to give poor old fellow a call there tomorrow, drop over and see him, get his machine going for him. The irony of that, eh? Isn't that crazy? Well, it's been a pretty big day here. I am going to enjoy the rest of my evening here and get to bed fairly early tonight because I have a feeling tomorrow and the next few days are going to be quite an adventure for me. Um, just getting out of here and then I'm going to be pretty busy. My phone at home will go pretty steady. Uh, I still do a lot of small engine repair work too, right? So I'm still, I still have an actual business, so I'm not totally doing this yet full time. I do still work for a living. Um, we have a mess coming Friday, and that's great to see because, uh, not, and I'm saying that sarcastically, there's already well over a foot and a half of snow here on the ground on the level, and we have 20 to 30 maybe coming, a bunch of freezing rain, absolute mess. Want to get back in here on Friday. I uh, don't know if I'm going to yet or not. It's Wednesday right now, so again, I'm going to be crazy busy, but I would like to get back over the weekend do some more filming for you guys. Hopefully, uh, it's not going to turn out as bad as what they're saying, but I'm sure I'm probably going to bring my side by side over this time. I'm going to have to get the old trailer hooked up and all that and probably bring that with me because the road is going to be just <laughs> way too much snow out here to even try to bring that truck in here. So, uh, so much for that idea. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Anyways, I will talk to you guys in the morning because I am going to, again, take it easier for a while and I will see you in the morning. I'm going to bed early. Well, good morning again, guys. I had a wonderful sleep. I always do here. It's so quiet here at night. This place is unbelievable. It's so peaceful. And the mattress here, the bed, I wish I was the one in my house was as comfortable. But anyways, uh, it's 10 after 7 in the morning. Just going to have my coffee here. Going to get packed up and try to get out of here by 8 or 8.30, probably at the latest. Going to have a big day ahead of me here. May have a big day trying to get out of this road. I don't know, but I'm going to film it to show you guys getting out of here. And that's going to be about the end of this video. So I will uh, going to, like you say, you're going to come along me for the ride out of here. And it could be a bit of a trip. So anyways, we uh, we hopefully are going to get out of here in one piece in a little bit. And hopefully I will be back here very soon to make you guys some more content. So all I can say is I hope you enjoy what I've uh, got to show you guys so far. Beautiful morning in the neighborhood. Wish me luck with this one, folks. Wish me luck I stay on this road. And all I can say is thank God I think I come up here last night with the snow thrower and did this road. There's a lot of snow here right now. A lot of snow here. Basically an ATV track is <laughs> all it is now, so my next trip is going to be on my side by side, I guess. And this is a hill, and this is icy. Let's go for a drive. And these tires are absolutely amazing. Wow. truck wants to be in the ATV trails, lol. Oh my god. 
And I was all stressed out about that all night. Wait, I'm at the end of the hill. Piece of cake. Woohoo! Well, this is where I stopped snow blowing last night. So from here on out, I'm just going to drive slow. But it's going to be a good day for a good day because I actually made it up that hill that I was so stressed out about. So we're going to see you guys again soon. And my next trip in, I'm going to be bringing the side-by-side. -side. So once again, live simply and remain grateful. And you guys have an awesome day.